Welcome to another Preventure Adventure. And tonight, today, it's actually still day because this place closes a little earlier. I um, finally decided to take a ride into Providence, which is kind of crazy from where I live because the construction and the traffic can be a nightmare. But I made it. Who knows when I'll get home, but that's okay. That's not important. I got here for the food. So today I'm at a place that um, viewer, uh, and he's never corrected me on how to pronounce his name, his last name. His first name is Art, so I got that part pretty down. His last name is Paradis, Paradis, Paradise. Let's name those A, B, and C if you want to shoot me a, a message telling me which way to pronounce that, or D, none of the above. And I'm at Sandwich Hut on North Main Street in Providence. Um, he noticed that I am a fond lover of uh, meatballs, and he sent me a notice a while ago saying that he drives by this place once in a while. They had a sign out front that they make over 100 pounds of meatballs every week. Thought I should try it out. So I'm down with that. So all they do is pretty much sandwiches. They, they have um, like potato salad and macaroni salad. So I got a couple small sandwiches. So here's the meatball sandwich. And then I got a steak and cheese sandwich. Two of my favorite sandwiches. How can I go wrong? So let me set up the camera and we'll come back and give it a try. I don't know which way to go first. I know I love meatballs, which is why I think I'm holding off, but then I know I love meatballs, so maybe I should start with that. But Let's start with the steak and cheese. By the way, they don't do anything like fries or anything. They do sell um, bags of chips, and they also um, have potato salad and macaroni salad. I don't know if they make it themselves or if it's pre-bought, I don't know. So they have a steak and cheese, and they have a steak and cheese with onions, peppers, and mushrooms. Not a mushroom guy, so I went with a fancier one, no mushrooms. A lot of steak in there. Really nice flavor to this steak. Fresh bread, toasted. So a little crisp on the outside. That was nice. All right, the real reason I'm here. Nice meatball in there. They must have taken one look at me and said, give that guy extra napkins, because they did. Same thing, great bread, great flavor, nice sauce. Nice meatball. Just all around nice. All right. I could babble on for a while about this, so let me, uh... Yep, I'm in Providence. Let me, uh, finish up and we'll come back and talk about it. So, how do I feel about the Sandwich Hut? What's my thoughts on the Sandwich Hut? How do I share my ideas about the Sandwich Hut? I'll tell you this. If I lived closer to this place, I'd be here quite often on my non-filming days. It was quite, quite spectacular. Um, both of those sandwiches were top of their class. The meatball sandwich just started with the steak and cheese, which was really, really, really good. Then I went to the meatball, and I was kind of sad when I finished that. And then I came back from the meatball to the steak and cheese, and it's like, maybe not as sad as I thought. Now, I like both of those. Personally, my favorite is the meatball, but not by much. I really like a good steak and cheese, and this was one of the, one of the top steak and cheese I've ever had. They just really did it nicely. Fresh bread, toasted, um, just great flavor, lots of product. It's not like 
a little bit of meat in there and nothing else. It just really did it well. And I got two small sandwiches. And I'm quite full. I, large sandwiches would have just been over the top too much. Two smalls. I didn't even eat the chips I bought. So, both of them really good. Excellent meatballs. Excellent sauce. The steak and cheese. Just really nicely done. Great flavor. Come back for either one of those anytime. And recommend them to people also. So, that kind of gives you a hint where this is heading if you've been following along. Zero to ten. By the way, yes, I said zero to ten, and now we go off we go. They have a, a truck here. I don't know if they cater or something, or they do delivery. Uh, big college town, it would make sense. But uh, the truck says it's been around since 1963. I didn't uh, get to ask if the same family or how many times it's changed hands but it's, the concept has been around since 1963 so shows you they're doing something right and, and I agree they are doing something right so let's give them a score 0 to 10 great food really nice people inside um, met a gentleman and a woman I don't know if it's his wife Someone else, guy was uh, trying to get me to remember a song who sang it called Too Young. Uh, the guy was born in 1935. So even though I know some stuff, I don't know that much stuff. It turns out it was Nat King Cole. We had to look it up. Well, he was waiting for food also. So anyhow, just a little aside. Just not, not a couple nice people I met inside. And uh, score, 0 to 10. <laughs> I'm going to go 9.2. Um, I liked it a lot. A lot. So thank you, Art. Um, you mentioned it a couple times. I kept putting it off. Not a fan of driving around Providence, but this is on North Main Street, so it's it's not it's not bad to get to. It's got a little parking lot in the back. I actually came and checked it out, I think, on New Year's Day when I knew there wasn't any traffic. Uh, so I made it back. It's kind of funny, nothing to do with the food, but when I was a wee lad, 8 to 12 years old, 8, to, I don't know, somewhere in there, I grew up in the town I live in, Killingly, Danielson. A big night out back in the 60s, big night out for my family, was coming to North Main Street. There was a huge Sears and Roebuck. There was a uh, Anderson Little Clothing Store, which I think was just men. And we'd always eat at a Howard Johnson's restaurant. They're all right in the same spot, more or less. This kind of brought back some of those memories. that uh, Things that we take for granted now, because we just hop in our vehicles and go anywhere. But back then, in the one-car family, and, and uh, traveling around a little bit, I was fortunate I got to travel a lot with my family. But for the most part, when we weren't on our annual vacation, we didn't go a lot of places. And so this was a big night out to come to Howard Johnson's to eat, Anderson Little, and Sears and Roebuck. So anyhow, a little history for me on North Main Street. There was a, I don't know if it's still here, there's an auditorium where they used to have, um, like, Rhode Island Reds, I think that was a, a hockey team. I never went and saw them. But I remember coming here once to see, uh, I think it was the Ice Capades at the Rhode Island Auditorium. So anyhow, it's all on North Main Street here, plus a whole pile of other stuff. And, and all that stuff's gone now, obviously. Um, so, nice memories. Thanks, Art, for getting me up here. And uh, the Sandwich Hut. There's two of them now. This is the one on North Main Street in Providence. I think they have one somewhere in downtown Providence. Anyhow, 9.2 and well worth the trip.